In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a tube or a pipe that has a variable width like this, created from a basic curve object. We have widespread application of this, like we can create a pair of horns, or we can create a cactus. In any kind of modeling, this will help you to a great extent. And we'll keep this tutorial very short, the method is quite easy. So let us start with a blank new file. We'll delete this default cube, and instead, we need to add a Bezier curve. Let us rotate it by 90 degrees, to make it upright. Now, we need to add another curve which will guide the thickness profile of this Bezier curve. So let us add a Bezier circle into our scene. But this is too big in size, so we should make it smaller, maybe by a factor of 0.25. Now select our Bezier curve, and we have to go to the edit mode. Right now we have only two control points for this curve. You may want to extrude it or edit it as suitable for your requirement. Let us extrude the curve, maybe twice, to create some geometry like this. Once you are done with the curve editing and the shape is final, you have to go to this curve tab. Scroll down here and expand this geometry section. Then switch over to this object tab. In this object field, we have to select this Bezier circle which we have added beforehand, or you can use a square, a triangle, or any other shape as well. So we got a pipe or a tube as expected. But some part of this pipe may not be very smooth, like what we see here. So we need to go back to the curve tab and increase the curve resolution, which is this field. Let us change it to 32. Now the pipe will get a very smooth profile. But our main purpose is to create a variable thickness. Right now the pipe has a uniform thickness, but we want to reduce the thickness of the pipe along its length. You'll notice that we still have the control points as it is. These are the control points of our original curve, so we can edit this curve as we need. Now, hit in on your keyboard, or you can click on this small arrow button to bring this side panel. We have to play with this radius field, in order to reduce the thickness of this pipe. So for this base point, the radius can be 1 over here. For this control point, we can change the radius, maybe to 0.6. Then for this point, let us change the radius field to say 0.4. And finally for this end point, we'll reduce the radius to just 0.1. So we now got a pipe with a variable thickness. You can use any value for the radius and change it as you need. Any kind of structure can be created this way by using a different radius at different control points. And the original curve is still there. So for example, if we remove the Bezier circle from the bevel section, you will get back the original Bezier curve. Please complete your curve editing before converting it to a mesh. And if you just need a round thickness, you can simply use the depth field on this tab instead of using the second curve object. And we can also use the extrude field, which will give us a flat structure like this. But even in this case, the thickness or the width will vary as per the radius value that we assign for each control point. So we can see that it works in every case. We won't use this flat structure, so let us go back to the bevel mode. Now, back to the object mode, we can convert it to a mesh object. So go to the object menu, and under convert, select mesh. This is now a mesh object with a variable thickness, you can use it in your modeling. That's all for today. I hope you like this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.